Hello and welcome. This is Nana, and you may be able to hear some birds chirping here this morning. I'm on my back porch. It's a little bit overcast today, but it's unseasonably warm. And the birds, I think, are getting ready to watch some college football, and they're not real active around the bird feeders. But I digress. This morning, we are going to be talking about Vincent van Gogh, one of the world's most famous master artists. Van Gogh was born in 1853, and he passed away in 1890. He had a very short career as a practicing artist and it only lasted 10 years from 1880 to 1890. Before that he was an art dealer, a language teacher, a preacher, bookseller, and a missionary worker. He had been considered one of the greatest of the post-impressionists. He used brilliant colors, amazing brushwork, and contoured his paint on the canvas. His art became astoundingly popular after his death, especially in the late 20th century when his work sold for record-breaking sums at auctions around the world and was featured in blockbuster touring exhibitions. Maybe you were fortunate enough to have an exhibition of Van Gogh's paintings come to a major city near you. Van Gogh was the eldest of six children of a Protestant pastor and was raised in a small village in the southern Netherlands. He was a quiet youth, spending his free time wandering the countryside, just observing and watching nature. At the age of 16, he became an apprentice to art dealers at The Hague. The Hague is the national seat of government in the Netherlands. Because he was an apprentice, he had daily contact with works of art, and this quickened his eye and his heart and his artistic senses and he soon formed a love of the work of Rembrandt, another Dutch master. But he disliked liked the art dealing, and his life became darkened when a girl in London rejected his marriage proposal. His desire for human affection was not to be and he became increasingly solitary. He longed to observe humanity, and he dreamed of entering the ministry. So he took up that study, and he studied theology, <coughs> but abandoned this project for a short-term training as an evangelist. But that path failed also. He didn't get an appointment after three months of study, so he left to do missionary work among the po poor coal mining region in Belgium. There he experienced the first great 
spiritual crisis in his life. Living among the poor, he impulsively gave away all of his worldly goods and soon was dismissed for having too literal an interpretation of Christian teaching. Penniless and feeling his faith was destroyed, he sank into despair and withdrew from everyone, stating that he was just seen as a madman and all he really wanted to be was a true Christian. During this time is when Van Gogh began to draw and then from then on he would bring help to humanity through his art. He said, I sign my name to my paintings as Vincent and I became as one of them. This self-realization of his creative powers helped to restore his self-confidence. As I said at the beginning, his art career lasted only 10 years from 1880 to 1890. The first four years, he confined himself almost daily to watercolors and to drawings and began to work from nature. He labored hard but realized he would need to seek the guidance of experienced artists. And he visited museums and met with other painters and thus extended his art knowledge and experimented with oil paint. He discovered, he discovered Peter Paul Rubens' paintings and his ability to express a mood by a combination of colors. Rubens could paint very dark colors, but he would always have a light source in his paintings that just fascinated Van Gogh. He traveled to Paris, and he met Toulouse-Lautrec and Paul Gauguin, who were to play historic roles in modern art. His brother introduced him to Pizarro and several other artists from the Impressionist group. Van Gogh was ready for the change that all these artists brought to him. And he changed his paint palette at last. It became more colorful and his whole outlook less traditional. He used broken brushwork. And you can look at it on his, his paintings. He, when he was painting the circles in Starry Night, the lines, a lot of them, are like dot to dots. And at times, his paintings almost came, became pointillistic, like his artist friend Pizarro. After two years, he became tired of Paris and longed for nature. The paintings he created of blossoming fruit trees, views of the country, towns, and surroundings, even a portrait of the postman friend, and of course, his most famous sunflowers. His style was spontaneous, and he worked to finish while the mood was with him. The last three years of Van Gogh's life is generally considered to 
raise him up as one of the greatest Dutch painters of all time. He left 800 oil paintings and over 700 drawings that constitute his life's work. And here's the tragedy. He only sold one painting in his lifetime. In our lesson on Van Gogh's Starry Night, you'll be able to paint a small village in the background and swirls of color that Van Gogh added as his almost distinctive signature on the painting. It is said that a meteorologist said that these swirls in the painting, the swirls of colors could actually be correctly added because their wind drafts rising from the warmer village to the colder mountain where the viewer is. But the moon, unfortunately, in the painting is not correct. The moon was not full. Van Gogh painted it as a full moon. I urge you to fall in love with this painting from from the church steeple to the swirly circles in the dark sky. This painting would be great painted on black, dark blue, or dark purple construction paper. In closing, I know as homeschoolers you will be led to do more research on Van Gogh. He did lead a challenged life with many, many disappointments. But we want to focus on the successful years that he experienced. I do wish that he knew that so many of his paintings are cherished in museums worldwide. Why? because he was an artist and fought each day to achieve the status of an artist. And today, we remember him and smile at his painting of the starry night and whisper, you are an artist. Love, Nana. Thank you for listening, artist friends. Please leave a review and share this with a friend. We invite you to join us in the You Are an Artist Clubhouse at chalkpastel.com where we have over 500, yes, 500 video art lessons. We would also love for you to join us on Instagram, Facebook, and more. And be sure to tag us when you share photos of your artwork. We cannot wait to see. I'll be talking to you again soon. Love, Nana.